famous investor Kathy Wood of ARK Invest is calling for a $500,000 Bitcoin. What the heck is her reasoning for getting such a big Bitcoin price? It doesn't even make sense. We also have a new Bitcoin trust launching, putting the heat on Grayscale, finally getting a bit more competition in that market. We're also going to take a look at the markets today as they're kind of looking a bit shaky. My name's Lark. And I make videos every day to help you make money investing. So if that is what you want to do, then make sure you subscribe and hit the bell to make sure that you catch all of my videos. By the way, this week's issue of the Wealth Mastery Investor Report is out now. So if you are a member, make sure to check your inbox. This week, Jesse has a report on the synthetic stock application Mirror Finance. DeFi Dad has a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to make 1,300% farming insurance tokens wrecked capital shares his thoughts on a coming bitcoin correction as well as a coming potential altcoin cycle the team from nft og engine joins us for an ama we've also got four new token sales on our radar and much much more so make sure to check your inbox if you are a member and if you're not a member then go ahead and get signed up using the link down below in the description and don't miss another issue. So Bitcoin, let's talk about Bitcoin. Let's take a look at the charts. So the Bitcoin downtrend, it is continuing. We are still in that Bitcoin downtrend. We had another test under $30,000 again today. That dip under $30,000, it was bought up quickly. So it's nice to see we still have a lot of buying pressure under the $30,000 mark, but it's starting to look more and more like Bitcoin is really not doing much of anything except ranging inside of this gigantic descending triangle. This is a bearish breakdown pattern. This is really not what we want to be seeing at this time. We keep getting lower highs from each of these bounces that we've seen when it comes down to kind of test it under thirty thousand dollars to get a bounce up but each one's kind of a bit lower so we keep getting lower highs keeping that downtrend going just reinforcing that's just a pretty tough time right now for the bitcoin price in order to break out of this downtrend we have got to see bitcoin breaking and holding above $35,000. That is the top green line on the chart here. That is critical for us to see this breaking in order to really feel like this trend is reversing. We're really breaking out here and getting away from this bearish scenario. Otherwise, we're kind of looking at Bitcoin like a bouncing ball, just boom, 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 decreasing in velocity until it runs out of steam and then whoosh, falls off a freaking cliff. Now, the implied downside target for this descending triangle is like $20,000, which to me feels way too bearish unless we see some kind of wider market correction, you know, globally for equity markets and stuff like that around fears of the coronavirus or whatever it might be. There's strong support around $27,500 right now. So watch for that as a key area if you are a dip buyer. Now, those waiting for a good long position, you need to wait for confirmation of a break of the top line on the chart here. It's around $35,000 area currently. That's when you put along. And anyway, I just want to make you aware of this potential bearish scenario. It's important to have these things in mind. Now, for the moment, $30,000, it is holding as support. So that's nice to see. And we only need like a 10% pump for Bitcoin to get us out of this danger zone to erase this kind of bearish scenario from the charts. But anyway, that, that's all just short term stuff regardless, right? Because realistically, if you see Bitcoin back down in the $20,000, then you should freaking buy it. Because if you liked Bitcoin at $42,000, you should love it at 25 or even 20 if that were to happen. That'd be crazy. Because remember, Bitcoin is going to be a six digit asset this year. The only question is when is that going to happen? So the big news for Bitcoin today is that a new Bitcoin fund has just been launched in Canada. This is a trust model similar to Grayscale. So a Toronto-based company called Nine Point Partners has raised $180 million for a Bitcoin trust. So compared to Grayscale with its, you know, tens of billions worth of cryptocurrency, it's just a tiny baby little Bitcoin trust, but it's yet another product available for investors to be able to get exposure to Bitcoin. We're starting to see new funds uh, launched kind of on almost a weekly basis at this point, which is very, very bullish overall for Bitcoin because every new fund or trust or whatever it might be, it expands the audience. It allows for more buyers 
to be able to enter the market in an easy way. Still though, it's just a trust. It's not even a direct fund like something like NYDIG has. It's not even ETF, ETF, man, ah, ETF. Look, this is just investing in shares of the trust, not in the, in the product more directly that tracks the price. That's why an ETF is gonna be so exciting when we do see it come out for the market. Grayscale has succeeded, I think, in spite of its premium prices. You know, if oh, it has only really been the only game in town for Bitcoin all this time. So it's kind of had the market cornered, but as big investors get more options, this is going to change. But that Bitcoin ETF, oh man, it's gonna be massive when it happens. No idea how long that's going to take to finally get the damn thing approved, but hopefully sooner than later. That would definitely be a very positive price catalyst for Bitcoin. And finally, famous investor and ARK Invest CEO, Kathy Wood, had an interview the other day where she explained how Bitcoin goes to $500,000. Now, in the interview, she said that big companies have started asking her if they should follow Square's lead and invest a few percent of their money into Bitcoin. Of course, she's on the yes side of that scenario. Kathy has been a Bitcoin bull for a very, very long time. And she believes that more and more companies are going to start loading up on Bitcoin and dumping at least a percentage of their cash reserves. She believes that MicroStrategy and Square, they're just the early movers. We're gonna see a lot more companies coming in diversifying into Bitcoin as part of their company's strategic reserves. Particularly, she's looking at tech companies, since obviously they're already involved in technology, they're more likely to understand on a deep level what Bitcoin is and what it's doing, and that they're gonna start taking their big piles of cash and buying just a little bit of Bitcoin. Because as she said, there is no better inflation hedge than Bitcoin, and people are starting to you know, click on to this fact. According to the data she shared during her uh, interview, if we see even just 2.5% allocation from major institutional players, it will add $200,000 per coin to Bitcoin. A 6.5% allocation will see an increase of $500,000 per Bitcoin. And she's not even accounting for uh, all the players in that chart that she shared. Uh, she's you know, not even looking at companies or you know, markets outside the USA. This is just a very specific group of institutional players within the US. And that's not going to happen overnight. But in the coming years, we are going to see Bitcoin reach some crazy, crazy valuations. It will be a six digit asset. $500,000 is really not that crazy. So don't get too worried about any short term price action we may see playing out. Those are dip buying opportunities. Think for the long term game, guys. Anyway, your question for the day, do you agree with Kathy's thesis that the entry of companies and increased institutional adoption is going to send Bitcoin soaring up to $500,000 a coin? Or has she been hitting the hopium bong just a little bit too hard? Let me know down below in the comment section. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.